Josh, you recently had a bit of a trip away with a good old Paul Smith. I had a trip away. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a trip. That's good. I like he was, that. Ta- he was taking drugs. Paul Smith did his final um, tour and his special uh, in Amsterdam. His main cameraman, who was in charge of all production, bought a brownie. Rudy's in the corner, he buys this brownie. It's like this fucking big. He comes over, does it, that manager's like, hi, I'm Graham. Um, I'm going to help you tonight. You know, just get you in the room, get you set up. And Rudy just looked at him. <laughs> just going redder. It's like, he looked at me, he just looked at me, he went, well, I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm like, so I'm, fuck, I'm the only sober one. I'm going, I'm just having to blag this. I'm like, hey, Graham, yeah, thanks. Um, can you just get us into the room and then we'll just start looking for camera angles? Moshed off his tits, he was, he was gone. So I had to just wing it until he eventually came back around, which he didn't come back around. He just did things very, very slowly. Hi, I'm Adam. Who's good at? You're supposed to say I'm Josh. I'm so excited to be back. Come on, let's have it. Yeah, um, I, well, I would like, if, if I can, um, if you beg my indulgence for a second or two, I'd like to uh, uh, publicly apologise formally for the fact that we, there was no episode last week. It was entirely my fault. I'm working this poor man to death. I'm working him like one of those uh, poor, old, neglected donkeys, you know, from those uh, daytime TV appeals that you see. Oh, yeah. That's what I saw you the other day and you had that look in your eyes. <laughs> sad look like you've been carrying heavy shit around for too long. Um, and he probably wants to punch me in the face repeatedly now. But he's here and refraining from violence so far. How are you doing, mate? I'm all right, mate. You can't break me. He actually said that to me yesterday when we were filming. <laughs> and he's like, why do you look tired, you know? He's like, have you had enough? And I'm like, no, I'm good, you know. I'm all right. You look like you really needed to sleep. I probably slept, like how I look now. But like, I slept so well last night after eight days of constant, constant work, <laughs> traveling countries. I, uh, I fell asleep last night at half past eight, right? Just fast asleep at half past eight. I woke up. At quarter past ten, which I didn't know it was quarter past ten. You can see breath. Yeah. <laughs> you can see that. Fuck me, man. We need to, please, <laughs> please, put, p- people just keep keep watching, right? Because like at least through the winter, because I need to be, I need to be warm. We've put the little fire on in the corner. Look at the fucking. It's like a Fisher Price my first radiator <laughs> or some shit. Does it even fucking work? <laughs> my first radiator. Sorry, go on, anyway, saying? yeah, I'd been asleep for like two hours, which I thought was about eight hours. I woke up and looked at Danielle. She's on her phone, and I'm like, "What? What, what are you doing on your phone?" She's like. It's quarter past 10. <laughs> You've been snoring. Oh my. Ooh, that's that's nice. how tired I am, mate. It's nice, And man. then I continued to sleep through till, what, half past six this morning when I uh, sent you a message. I could only dream of such sleep. Slept for four hours last night. Might have been something to do with all the food that I ate yesterday, which was very high in sugar, but um, that was only a contributing factor. But it's all right, I'm here. <laughs> what are we talking about? Wait, should we do in the comments, George? Yeah, let's let's start with the comments. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. Okay, so we've got a first comment. It's from the Katina Eats Kilos podcast. The fuck? That was oh, like- that's a baddie, that. You have to skip this. <laughs> you want one good comment on that podcast, you know. <laughs> everyone missed the whole- Read it anyway. Everyone I- missed the context of all that because like we recorded it two days back to back between Randy and Katina. We were very we, we were friends with them, went out for drinks with them. And because of us being boisterous, people, it made us look like dickheads, apparently to a new audience. It well, is what it is. Let's, let's hear the comment, man. They just put, poor Katina, what a stupid conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I, I totally agree with that. I mean, like, I'm not going to debate on that one. Katina really enjoyed it, though. I, in fact, originally, we weren't actually going to have her on, if you remember, because we didn't think we'd have time. Yep. But then, uh, like, we all kind of felt bad. I felt bad. Yeah, I we think made Randy it. felt, because I don't want to say, well, let's talk to Randy, but not Katina. Yeah. And I, I think it would have been weird to do it both at the same time. Yes, it would. Um, but I think... It, the problem is, is that like people thought that was like an interview or something, right? Like we're going to be formally interviewing yeah. her, but we, we're friends, right? So we're just <laughs> chilling, talking. We've been out getting drunk and shit the night before. So um, I don't fucking care whether that was. Right, what's the next one? <laughs> no doubt they've, they've, they've probably not come back for any more episodes. Yeah. The next one's on the Randy Santel podcast. Fucking hell! <laughs> she. I was curious how there could be a podcast based on the food challenges. I quickly realised that you can't. This is pretty bad, guys. Brainstorm, brainstorm something different. Just awful. We, I mean, like, I think it was pretty clear by watching that podcast that it, we, the podcast is not about food challenges. I can't think of anything worse than fucking sitting here and talking about food challenges. Have we, have we, um, have we like, entered a new realm of audience where it's like it's now been shown to some new people? And everyone's like, this is shit. <laughs> We're in like the suggest algorithm. That must be what's happened. Maybe. maybe. We've got, I think we've got nearly 24,000 subscribers on YouTube now. Something like that. We're it's nearly at the quarter good. century. I, although I've got a suggestion. Yeah. Uh, disregard the sign. I actually think we should co- we should rebrand the podcast to Breaking Beard. I've, been, I've thought long and now, hard. Now I've thought long and hard. And I think we should do it, you know. It does actually apply because normally by the end of every episode, I am yeah. successfully it been, it's broken. Been, it's been suggested a few times. And it, like as more people ask me, like, what's the podcast? And I'm like, Breaking Bread. You can, you can see I'm just being a bit like... 
Is it easier? To, well, yeah, and I probably there isn't another one. There is a, there are about eight podcasts called Breaking yeah, Bad. Is it easy to do though? Because like I wouldn't, I would never want to say to change the name of my YouTube channel. Obviously, it's a fucking doddle, I reckon. Well, it's YouTube fucking channel. Doddle. There's a website. There's obviously a sign. There's. I know it is very easy to change the name of a YouTube channel. I just never would. But like Instagram, I reckon try and change the handle. Just do it. It's like you to get some new merchandise made that everyone can steal. I reckon. <laughs> let, let me see if the breaking beard is actually an Instagram thing. Probably not. Breaking. It's got to be on it, Beard. While you do that, I'll read another comment. <laughs> From uh, Janet Steele. I normally enjoy the banter, but today seeing the video of the poor deer and the fact it was supposed to be funny and jokes about was a bit much for me. <laughs> well, to be fair, I did think that at the time. It, it, I didn't, first of all, Janet, that, that did not get my editorial approval, right? I didn't know that was coming. I didn't either. Um, <laughs> and I think I, I would say like, if, I'm laughing at that. I'm not laughing at the fate of the poor deer. It's more the absurdity that somebody would hunt and then think it's a good idea to drag a deer out by its head. Oh dear, Janet. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's obviously he's a little <laughs> bit less apologetic than me, but you know. <laughs> so is what it is. I, don't I, I think Breaking Beard podcast it, or Breaking Beard PD. So we're just we're sw swapping two letters around. Surely it's not taken. Why do you have to do? Why do you have to do PD? What the fuck is PD? P <laughs> podcast, obviously. That would be PC, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe. <laughs> well, Why is it PD then? I don't know. I, I asked you that question when you started it anyway. Just pod without the O. Did you try pod and then it was taken? <laughs> breaking beard pod. <laughs> so you just got lazy and thought, oh, would you, fuck it, we'll drop the O. Right, all right. I reckon breaking beard pod is available. Should we just kind of brainstorm this afterwards? Yeah. 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 I've got to include the people. <laughs> right, decision. <laughs> Done. Put, put the poll up, uh, put the poll up yeah, on the yeah. so, social media so that eight people actually follow. No, nah, because then everybody will take the handle. We need to make a decision between us. Yes or no, George? Just open it. Stop yes. it. Okay. Yeah, all right, yeah. Cool. Whoa! Huzzah! Welcome to the Breaking Beard podcast, where this week we're going to talk to Mr. Just, Beard and break him. No, it just sounds weird. Now you've said it, I'm like, I'm thinking I want to go back on it. It sounds weird. Can't now. go back, man. All right, well, okay. Right. <laughs> Time marches on. What, what the fuck else are we talking about today? Last comment from Troy B. <laughs> I know you didn't mean it, but all I can see is Nigel Farage wearing festive nipple tassels. I can't unsee it now, so thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, fucking well, I don't know where that guy's head's at. <laughs> but I'm um, sorry about that, man. <laughs> I don't know that it's any much worse picturing him with nipple tassels than without them. You know pa what I mean? Poor Lindsay, man. Like, we were in a public space last week with Lindsay and fam. And uh, you brought up that nipple tassels thing. She just sat there <laughs> working on the laptop, did it by an eyelid. You're well, a bad yeah, person. She, you. No, she just knows what I'm like. I don't know why I've got nothing to hide. And your granddad saying she looks good after a can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, your sister won it. I think that was my sister. Yeah. No, it was your granddad that said Yeah, that. no, but he said it to, oh, to Jen. Jen. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought yeah. it was about Lindsay. When so, we went for that family, anyway. that co-family meal that we all went to. <laughs> anyway. Why was my granddad? Anyway, yeah, go on. <laughs> so what were we talking about just before we, uh, we went live? Boys? Pubes. <laughs> So we were, were actually, we were. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about pubes and uh, we have got more to talk about this podcast, by the way. In fact, let's not, should we talk about pubes in a bit? We'll talk about pubes in a bit. Let, Spotify wrapped has just been right. And yeah, come back for the pubes part. <laughs> like, fuck market, come back for that. <laughs> so Spotify wraps has just been, and uh, we've seen some remarkable things come through. So we can't thank you enough for the amount that people have, um, you know, supported us this year. But one in particular stood out by a country mile from a dude called Chris Myers. So Chris Myers sent me this. Um, he put, Jesus, can't tell if it's a good or a bad thing. It's a bad thing, Chris Myers, because you listened to 49,220 minutes of the podcast. Which I thought was like, I already thought it was kind of insane. And then you told me that's technically every episode back to front four times. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's listening to the podcast for 35 days solid. Or back to back on repeat four times round. And this guy, guy's called Chris. Chris We Myers. need to do something for Chris. What can we do for him? What, did I bring that t-shirt? Josh, go grab that t-shirt from out there. I forgot to bring it in. <laughs> so we, we could bring it at the end. No, we need to bring it in now. Come oh, on, bring okay. it in. Come on. He's, he's, he's won a prize. But it says breaking bread on it. Oh, yeah. It'll be val really valuable when <laughs> the name is changed, you know? It's like a, a pound coins with a queen on it now and she's gone. Just now like, we've got sausage fingers, Charles. Yeah. What do we do now, George, aren't you? I don't know. I, feel, I kind of feel like... Who's switching the camera like angle? We must be on this camera angle. Captain with no ship. We, he could have left. He probably left on the one. With on the, you. The more attractive of us on there. Oh. Sorry, so I'll add. Oh, right. So Chris, this is you are the now pr a proud owner of this T-shirt, and I'll also send you some out-of-date coffee. <laughs> <laughs> 
The they, t-shirts are good though. They're premium. One, uh, one of one. Um, get, carry a little beard around in your pocket to, yeah, to so keep the company all Chris, day. I'm going to send you a DM, lad, and uh, thanks for listening to us for 35 days straight. Yeah, thank you for it. That is very, 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 very kind of you. I can only assume you've been sectioned, so we'll send it to the <laughs> hospital. <laughs> um, we need to get rid of these t-shirts. Yeah. Right. Well, don't yeah, say that done. now because then that, that makes, makes no, it I'm, like I'm going to send you like a little care package and you can do a cameo. <laughs> I pulled up outside and he sat in his cameos. It's killing me this time of year, man. <laughs> Fucking 40 cameos a day. Um, I reckon we've, we've got a box of them still in there. Yeah. The next 20 people that sign up to Patreon, I'm going to send you a t-shirt as well because we need to get rid of them. They've, uh, they can't, I can't take them into 2024. So they join us on the, uh, on the dark side. No, especially now we're rebranded. Join us on the dark side and you, you'll, I'll send you a free t-shirt. And I'm going to send some out to the patrons as well that's already been hanging in with us. We just need to get rid of them. All right. Deal. Oh, man, Deal. Some decision making going on today, aren't there? Yeah. You still have had a few weeks off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what else is going on then? So uh, you uh, wrote some notes down about uh, you got pulled over, didn't you? Oh, I did. So I went out for some food today. I went to watch Michael McIntyre. You don't know you told me, but I'll pretend like you haven't told me this already. Oh, I went to, you went to see Michael McIntyre? I went to see Michael no Ma- way. It's a shit story, but long story short, went out, watched Michael McIntyre, had some nice food. Blue Sakura, have you been in? Didn't in Leeds? Never been there. Is that the all-you-can-eat sushi place? Yeah. Yeah, no, never been. So it was nice, right? This is my my professional review. If I would rate my takeaway, now then, guys, I'd say it's a solid seven from me. He's never given a score that low, what are you talking about? Has he not? <laughs> All right. I don't know, he probably You know what, Daddy, Daddy takes some shit on this podcast. There's nothing but nice. Anytime we put a post on the break, he's, if you've been he on, always, always really nice to us. Mate, if you've been on the show, you know that you, you're, getting a, you're going to be teased. It doesn't matter who you are. That's part of the, the, the deal. But yeah, so this Blue Sakura, like it's nice food, but you can still tell it's all you can eat. Oh, so it's not quite nice enough. Yeah, like I thought it'd be nicer. You're not but getting it, any it's, sashimi it's made, grade It's shit. made fresh and they bring it to your table. But it's still like mass produced. So I wouldn't want like non fresh sushi. You know, you there, <laughs> you? Um, Does that make sense? Yeah, can, yeah, yeah. So sense. solid seven from me. And, and then we went to watch Michael McIntyre. So we're driving, driving home, 11 o'clock in Leeds. I'd had a shandy, luckily, because I would never have five and drive. Um, Glad to hear it. Police car like lights us up. Well, a police car lit up behind us. You do have a drug dealer car though, so I mean. So I pulled to the right, so I pulled into more traffic, assuming he was trying to get around me, like use the bus lane and fuck off. And they followed me right. So I'm like, oh shit. So then I pulled left and he followed me again. I'm like, why is this copper zigzagging me? <laughs> I'm <through Leeds. laughs> So I pulled over at bus lane. Like, shit, I better put my foot down. And I'm going, oh way. shit, what? Like, I'm like, what have I done? And I'm so, I've, I've sat with Danielle and I'm going, I can't do an old bad because I'm with Danielle. Like, I've, I've got to be safe here. So I've sat there waiting for copper. And anytime you've, like, I've been pulled over before, they always come to the driver's side. So the copper comes to the passenger side. So I'm like looking out of this window waiting for him to come. I turn over and he's fucking Ronnie Pickering me across Danielle. <laughs> Do you know what I have, Ronnie Pickering? And I'm like, what's going on? He goes, are you aware that you've, uh, uh, well, your MOT has expired? I went, MOT? I said, this car, I've only had it a year or less than a year. They're like, yeah, but it's expired. Do you want to check it on your phone? And I went, so I picked my phone up and I'm like, what am I checking? He went, well, you don't have to check it. I'm just, I said, no, I believe you. I said, if it's got no MOT, it's got no MOT. <laughs> he goes, so that's a problem. And I'm like, all right. Well, I said, well, so what do we do now then? And he goes, well, you need to get an MOT. I went, obviously. I said, but it's like, you pulled us over at Leeds City Centre at 11 o'clock. <laughs> MOT, are you a mechanic as well? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, what? I said, what's up? I've seen cops. I've, I've got Ben Pearson in. Are you going to take my car? Like, what's the, what's the deal? Nah, you just drive off and get MOT, don't you? Three pa- three points, hundred pound fine. You didn't give him the I know Ben Pearson line. <laughs> <laughs> that, could swung, ben. that could have swung over. Eh? <laughs> yeah. um, so you had to, three points. Three points. You didn't tell me that hundred pound fine. Seems a little bit savage. So I like I, I literally I like no shit. I said, is that what it is? He goes, yeah. I went. I says fair fucks then. You know, I literally went fair fucks. He goes, you seem like you've genuinely made a mistake. And you both seem like decent people. I'm like, well, what give it away that we're not pissed and we're in nice clothes? We've just been, I said, we've just been to watch Michael McIntyre. I said, you know, I said, it is what it is. And he goes, I'm going to let you off. Um, so just make sure you get it MOT. When, when he says let you off, he means not let you off and give you like the maximum penalty, which is three points. No, he didn't give me it. So he oh, says, it's, it's like, I'm, he says, I thought you said you were no, no, me that's what you got. I thought that's what I was getting. Oh, that's nice of him then. Yeah, obviously. and he was like, no, you seem like you've actually made a mistake. And I went, oh, we, well, we have. And Danielle's like sweating next to me. <laughs> this cop was talking over it. <laughs> that's good because like the police get a lot of abuse on there. And like to see that they've exercised maybe a little bit of common sense. 
uh, although you should have got the car MRT, yeah. um, is nice. Maybe it's that time of year as well. well yeah. it's, I think like what it's, it's obviously not like fucking George's car, so that it's got like gaffer tape hanging off it. Like, it's a 2020 20 plate. It's a drug dealer car. That's the thing. He probably thought you were dealing drugs. It's not a drug dealer car. It definitely is, mate. It's like a big black utility vehicle, um, which is expensive. That's the kind of thing you would sell drugs out of. It's like a family car, my car. Mm. No. Oh, your car! There wasn't the I no, no. You maybe taking Danielle in the in you know the the drug dealer car. We've got a BMW. I X3. forgot you have two cars. Yeah. All <laughs> um, um, so yeah, oh, right. Car seat like, like it's all blacked out. It does look a bit drug dealer, but yeah, if it's blacked out, it's, uh, my point still stands. <laughs> but anyway, let us off. So that's that, good. That was pretty good. Things right. are looking up. But I, had to, well, I, can't, I can't talk about that's that's all I can say about because I had to leave on the Monday, if you remember, to go get it MOT'd. And I had to go, like, the only place that you get MOT within 24 hours, because if you go book in advance for everywhere else, was in the heart of Beeston in Leeds at the nice. dodgiest MOT center you've ever seen. So I'm sat there, I'm sat there at like six o'clock at night with the dodgiest looking characters, I've been like, please just MOT this and let me go on. They're all like chain smoking in a tiny office. So that was nice. But anyway, I didn't get three points, 100 pound fine. Cool story, yes. bro. What's next? <laughs> so pubes. Um, oh, we go back to this again. <laughs> no, nah, like well, how do you? Oh, so right. So Jenna's single. Oh, is, is, we don't need. We don't really, really, talk no. about Jenna's we really don't need to bring my sister into it. We really don't. We were talking about Jenna. She's single now, right? So she's she's <laughs> like she's got divorced or getting divorced, and she run about future dating prospects and sexy nickels. Pubic hair. She got onto talking about pubic hair. So then we were talking about pubic hair this morning. I'm pretty sure. Should we ask her about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure she won't have pubic hair. I don't... Oh, she's a mum, actually, so she might have, like, a landing strip. Listen, she's, like, sophisticated, it's you know? Bad enough, it's, it's, it's bad enough hearing this from my sister. And it's, it's bad enough that she's willing to share this with other people. Her. Imagine random text on a Tuesday morning. she probably Jenna, send you a picture. Jenna, what's your pubes? We're that, close again. We're that close as a group now. She'll probably send you a picture. But anyway, what it got us talking on... What, what it got us talking about... I think just swallowed a little bit of throat. <laughs> <laughs> what it got us talking about was pubic hair in general and how. I, would, would I, you would you shave it for a date? That, you, was, with the, that was where we started. Well, that's no, how it's how just it, in general. No, you said would you because I, I said like what yeah. would you what, what <laughs> would you wear special pants if you like underwear if you were going on a date? Special I, pants. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like would you? I, so I said I'd wear like a nice like some some Calvin Klein's or something. I wouldn't wear some beat up fucking holy pants, you know, like gray ones or some shit or white ones. God forbid that shit stain from like four failed food channels or whatever. Um, and you said, yeah, no, I wear, but like any, um, then we somehow then got onto pubic hair and like, if you would trim your pubic hair. But you said you never trimmed. I've never, never trimmed. trimmed my pubic hair. And then you looked at me aghast as if that was the weirdest thing I ever. I want to see it now. I wanted, I'll show you my oh, pubic hair. I'm not I like, don't. don't worry. I'm not, I'm not going to show it to you now. I'll show it to you privately if you want. But like, um, look how much hair's on his face. Can you imagine what his fucking nuts look like? Uh, but that's like unshaven. But, you know what? Like, a, like a handlebar <laughs> mustache over his little sausage. Right. Somebody needs to help me in the in the comments here because I thought that was perfectly normal. But like a lot of my friends are like, dude, it's gross. It that is you, gross. That you don't shave it, and I'm like, what? But why? I, 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 I like, is that a, nobody ever told me at school like you need to shave your fucking ball does, hair? Does, untidy, does Mrs. Beard often often put a face down there? Un Shut the fuck up. No, but right. like, that's um, a, a, like, like, I imagine that like a stray, valid. A, it's a valid one, isn't it? Valid. A stray grey, like, ball right. bearded, a ball hair into her eyeball. Listen, man, right? All I'm saying is, is it like, how much- how, Breaking what? beard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the refront. <laughs> George, really quick. Why don't you Google, like, what percentage of men shave their nutsack? I shave my nutsack. I shave my nutsack. Well, so in this room, it's 60 66 percent of men right yeah but I, i'm not i'm not having that they're in that everyone does it and i'm the only person that does not i think admittedly i could do it i don't have anything against it. i'm just saying that maybe it's just the fact that i'm old as fuck and I don't, I don't really care anymore but like what, what i don't understand like what what length is it supposed to be then but is it not itchy no why would it be itchy my face my beard hair isn't itchy I, you know what? I take care of my hair. All all hair on my body, all follicular aspects of my body are well taken care of and conditioned. So if yours itch, either you've got a fucking STI or you need to just moisturise more. <laughs> Apparently 78% of men admitted to shaving the area around the penis. That's just the ones that admitted it. So maybe it is mega high. Right, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. you have my word. I will start clipping my... Uh, or at my, least have my... once in their lifetime. Anyway. Well, so, okay, but you need to... What, what length am I going for then? What Get like a, a short back and twicky, you know, like two on back and sides and maybe a four <laughs> no. on top. I don't know how to apply. How does that apply to your skin fading? Just bollocks. <laughs> skin fading from your nuts. Go, go fast distraction. 
I don't have man. Like, I don't know what I'm aiming for, man. What's an acceptable amount? Like just... George, you're, you're showing me your plebs. After, after this podcast, <laughs> you're showing me. Somebody show me the I'll pubes. show you. I don't, I don't know what it looks like now and I don't want to, but just a trimmed, you know, neat and tidy version. Like you wouldn't let, your, be- think- you wouldn't let your beard get like stupidly out of control. Yeah. yeah. Like your beard looks, you know, yeah, you, you're, 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 This is about as bushy as my nut hair is. Oh. I mean, it's not, quite, it's not quite that big. That's, that's too much, right? But like, imagine like around here, right? Around the tidy areas of my mouth. This is about like how long it is. Oh my God. That's rough. I, guess, I don't know. I'm just doing this off, off, like from memory. I don't often spend time looking at my own pubic areas, but uh, maybe it's not quite that long actually. But it's certainly not like shaved short. Are we talking like you just had a, like your fucking chin? No, no, maybe like my beard was when I had a beard last week or week before. Like that'd probably be a good length. I feel like that would be itchy. That's too short for me, I, th- I think. I think there's like a happy medium in between. That, just show there? me afterwards and then I'll, I'll have learned something this year. I promise I'll trim my pubes. Show me afterwards. afterwards. Right, we're all going to get our dicks out after the <laughs> podcast, lads. I think about as short as it gets or as, as short as it should get is like about how long Josh's beard got, I would say. Any, sh- any, short, any shorter than that, it's going to be prickly and blah. But it yeah. could be. So you're talking about like, tr- like trim it with like scissors. I've had to shave my arm, you know, cause I've got tattooed. So I got tattooed of the week. So I've had like my, I've got one arm that's got hair on it and one arm that's bald. <laughs> Did you have to shave it or wax it? Shave. <laughs> so like I shaved it like with a trimmer and then they then like shave it, like, you know, Properly. short shave, yeah. So now I've got a spiky arm and a non-spiky arm. Do you think I should shave both my arms? No, no. It'll grow back to like, you, you ha- the hair on your arms. Yeah, but when is- I've got my, when, when my tattoo's finished, I probably won't want hair to grow over it. I probably have to be like bald now forever. This is like, we're, yeah, but we're, got, we're talking about some heavy stuff this week. But you've got like lighter hair, so like the hairs won't be <laughs> distracted from the tattoo. I would never, right? Like if I listen to a podcast like, and they talked about shaving their pubic hair and then the arm was for, like what feels like about 20 minutes. I would never come back. See, I, I would never, ever, it'd be fucking red listed. I'd never be going back there. I think these are the best conversations. <laughs> but at least mile. I learned some. I, I did not think it was like completely, I, I thought it'd be maybe like, 40% of men would regularly trim. I don't know, but it's clearly more like 80, 90. So I'll trim them before I come in next time. I'll show them to you. Then you give me the approval. Yeah. And Thanks. then we can go from there. All right. Sweet. We'll What's talk next? about anything else. Okay. So uh, Josh, you recently had a bit of a trip away. With a good old pole. A trip. Trip. I had a trip away. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a trip. That's good. I like he was that. Ta- he was taking drugs. I mean, <laughs> Sorry, somebody, somebody was taking drugs on the trip. We, uh, I went to Paul Smith did his final um, tour and his special uh, in Amsterdam. So I, I left Adam on the, on Wednesday night <laughs> and on Thursday morning after working for what felt like 4 million hours, yeah. I, I took a plane straight to Amsterdam and met up with Paul Smith and his team as he did a show. Yeah, man, you're like, uh, trying to find some analogy to what you do, but you, 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 you kind of globetrot a lot, don't you? Not like a spy, but you yeah. know, you're a man, like a, you are a man of mystery of sorts. And you're always like, <laughs> nobody really knows where you're at. <laughs> like, you know, including my child. <laughs> your child, your wife, you know, like everyone really. Yeah. yeah, I bet you definitely told Daniel you were going for work as well. He yeah. was work? <laughs> yeah. So he shot his special, he needed a hand. Uh, which <laughs> He shot a special, he needed a hand? Yeah, he was on stage doing the special. Oh, right. um, so it. his cameraman, Rudy, needed an, an extra set of hands. So I went out there. My bags are packed and uh, arrived in Amsterdam where we went immediately to a smoke house or a, smoke, a coffee shop. So I didn't have a coffee on plane. I was very tired, but I fit, I, my assum- I've never been to Amsterdam. So my assumption was, you talk about these coffee shops where everybody smokes weed. I thought the coffee shops would be sick. I thought like the coffee shops would, sm- would sell amazing coffee <laughs> and weed. So I didn't have that. I passed the Starbucks, a prayer. I passed like a load of independent coffee shops. I'm like, I'm gonna have a coffee at the Jolly Joker, which is where he went for a smoke. Yeah. Worst fucking coffee I've ever had. <laughs> it was like a tasting machine in corner because they only go there to smoke weed. I thought the, the coffee would be fucking incredible. You big twonk. What did you think? Would you not think thought the same? No, I knew that before uh, before the first time I went there. I knew they weren't like. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not thinking I'm going to go in. It's like a like, barista. Like, like fucking. Sh- I think I was going to go like a plush coffee shop. The guy wearing like suspenders. I did. Nice yeah, yeah. Beard. No, I didn't, I didn't think that. It was just some fucking stoned fella that just pressed the button on a tassie machine. And, was just like, <laughs> <laughs> and they gave me, I'm like, fuck, is this it? So yeah. As long as I had caffeine in. So yeah, they, they, they had a, a smoke. Um, I didn't partake because I can't, I, I don't smoke. We're neither of us recreational drug users, are we, mate? Um, I was just in the room of the smoke. Um, but then he's cameraman. So that night was his show, big show, 
for support acts, Paul doing his, his hour special. We're going to film it. His main cameraman, who was in charge of all production, bought a brownie. Like in silent, <laughs> right? So I, well, I'm shooting BTS. Rudy's in the corner, bought, buys this brownie. It's like this fucking big. <laughs> Eats it all. And it's like, yeah, I'll be all right. We go back to the hotel, quick wash. Like we need to get to the venue early to set up cameras. And he, he, he arrived and he's like shaking. He's like, oh, it's bad. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? He went, that brownie was too much. And he actually said to the owner, like, are these strong? And the owner like, nah, nah, they're pretty mild. Wasn't mild. Yeah, but like a strong in Amsterdam is different to basically strong everywhere else. Mate, so we got to the venue and the manager comes, and bear in mind, I've never set up for a comedy special before. So I don't know the lay of the room. I don't know how to do sound check. I don't know where cameras are going to go. <laughs> he comes over and that manager's like, hi, I'm Graham. Um, I'm going to help you tonight. You know, just get you in the room, get you set up. Then he said it to Rudy and Rudy just looked at him. <laughs> <laughs> just going redder. It's like, he looked, he just looked at me and went, well, I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> so I'm, fuck, I'm the only sober one. I'm going, I'm just having to blag this. I'm like, hey, Graham, yeah, thanks. Um, can you just get us into the room and then we'll just start looking for camera angles? I'm not having a fucking Scooby what I'm doing. So Rudy's sat there and it, like the footage is going to be hilarious on Paul's channel because he's like, he's just sat and he's like, I just need five minutes. So he's sat on this chair, <laughs> just like rocking. <laughs> I'm like, lad, where are your cameras? And he's like, they're in the bag. I'm like, all right, so we're at tripods, right? I said, I'll just start setting up some tripods and cameras and we'll just figure out the settings in a bit. Yeah, yeah, all right. He's like, I need some water. So he dips out, go to get some water. It was like that scene from, you know, um, Bad Boys, where he takes ecstasy and he's like down in glasses of water. It was like, like, like down in his water. I've never seen like, Bad Boys. Have you not? No, no. Have you seen it? No. What? I've seen snippets from it, but not the whole he thing. He takes loads of ecstasy and he's like, I need water. And then he looks at the fish and That's he's like- That's how people end up fucking dying, man. You get hyponatremia. But you don't on know ecstasy, that. not on- uh, Not from the water. They don't die from the ecstasy. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think you're all right with weed. Oh yeah, I'm just meant. You know, it's a, bl- a slight side annotation to you. Add, add some uh, education to this podcast. Yeah. Anyway, it was m- like moshed off his tits. He was, he was gone. <laughs> so I had to just wing it until he eventually came back around, which he didn't come back around. He just did things very, very slowly. So he set up one camera at a time, like a snail. Sounds like me. Ready <laughs> to shoot a video. Ready to do a sound check. He's like, does that sound all right? And I'm thinking, I've got nothing to gauge it against. It's a 400 seat room. And he's like, does it sound all right? I'm going... Maybe a bit louder. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> we got through it, got it done, got it shot. And the next day on Saturday, we went, um, Paul wanted to take mushrooms. Yeah, I saw that picture, yeah. So I took a picture of Paul in the park. So Paul, <laughs> Paul took like, it, on the mushrooms box, there is like a star system, which I then related to like Grand Theft Auto. So, <laughs> so Paul did like five stars the army is coming for He's you. He's got the military the choppers are presence. Out. Yeah. <laughs> and then everybody else sort of did like the two stars, like the mall cop ones. <laughs> You've got Paul Block coming after you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Paul went on this journey in Amsterdam Park, <laughs> talking to trees. It, a figurative journey. He didn't move. I think he was just... Was <laughs> he, he, just did, he moved at a slail, snail space as well. <laughs> yeah, he looked like he was on a full and frank discussion yeah, with he had, uh, I think he... he generated a new family in that forest and yeah, it, yeah he had a, a great time did you overhear any of the conversations that he was having with these yeah because yeah, like it, it seems like mushrooms are one of those things where you can still articulate everything it's not like being drunk you know you like slurring your words yeah you just sort of go into this state of i guess uh what's it called is it a, a psychedelic and it's like a psychedelic hallucination, right? hallucination yeah. yeah and then but then you can like articulate it thereafter. So he told us some right tales. No doubt he will tell those stories himself on other podcasts. Yeah, you got to keep that shtum on you. It might be finding its way into his next uh, Absolute, tour, like yeah, his yeah. and whatnot. Um, but we had the best time. And then on the Sunday, he did a podcast. <laughs> so like you thought our podcasts were bad, mate. God bless him. There's a, a podcast called Damn by the Gram. I'm Which sure is, the podcast is great. The studio looked fucking filthy, man. <laughs> well, like Lindsay's car. So Paul came back and he'd been out shopping. So they came back with all these like Louis Vuitton bags and whatever. And he had this full brand new rig, head to toe. I think it cost him like three grand or something. Oh my God. Honestly. Days. And he, had, he, he showed me this, he had this fleece like jacket and on the inside it had fur. I don't think it might not have been real fur. It might have been real. I don't know. Are there any, are there any pictures of this on, can, uh, on his Instagram? If, if you, you keep talking. If you go on like the Dan by the Gram podcast, you'll see the picture oh, of him. We're giving him like shout outs now, free shout outs. Should we charge him for that? He had a, a gilet on. So he had all this like dapper gear. We walked upstairs into this flat <laughs> and they're just chain smoking joints and tabs. So like 20 can't, minutes into it, can't find it. I'm like stinking. My eyes are burning. You remember like when, 
George, you might be too young. Remember pubs when you used to be able to smoke inside them? Yeah, I, I'm old enough to remember yeah, that, yeah. That's what it felt like. I'm like, oh my God. If I'd been at my grandma's house when she was like chain smoking tabs. So my eyes are stinging. I'm like, I've got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but Paul stayed for the duration. The dude gave him a little fudge and he went again into another dimension. So I'm pretty sure he sat in silence for the last forty minutes of the podcast. <laughs> this is a big pocket. They've got 6,000 followers. We don't have that many. On, his, on Instagram. Shit. Yeah. Maybe we should go over there and get on the dam by the gram. But they had a big dog. So the big dog was out on this sofa. That was the worst part to me. You can overlay the picture, George. And like the dog must have been high. Because I said to Rudy, I'm like, I've got to get out of here. Because that dog, it was chewing its dew claw. And like, what like pulling it like a dew claw. A what claw? That's what you call it. It's called a dew claw, right? It's like Is it D E W kind of. It's like the dogs have got like a claw up here. All right, D-E-W. Right? I okay. think it's, is it dew claw? It's kind yeah, of dew claw, can't it? Something like that, I don't know. Um, don't matter. But anyway, we're just pulling on this. It must've been high or hungry. It's like fucking yanking. I'm like, I said to Rudy, I'm like, it's going to chew its own foot off here. I'm like, I need to get out. <laughs> no, sorry, I want to die. I'll, I'll be like, you know, if I ever get stranded somewhere, I'll just be eating, eating my own, like sore, right? I'll just, but instead of cutting my leg off, I'll just be eating my own leg. That'd be a, that'd be a, but, yeah, a holy way to I go. Like, I was like, Paul's there in this brand new clobber, just stinking the tabs. I thought that is what a way to ruin some gear. It's a bit like cars, you know, if you ever sit in a car where they've been smoking inside it, yeah. it's never the same again, is it? Is it, is it the kind of gear as well? Like when you know you get like some, because I do have one or two expensive sweaters, not that expensive. I bet you can't like, wash I'm it. like a couple hundred quid um, and you can't wash them, you have to get them dry cleaned. Yeah, it's got to be on it. Uh, it was expensive gear, mate. Damn. I never was like a, I mean, I don't really get it. Is Louis Vuitton like that the best brand or something? Maybe on Louis Vuitton. It might be Le Bou- I don't know. I don't know. It was you know some that brand. brand. <laughs> when Alan calls it Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one anyway. Gucci wears a lot of Gucci, doesn't he? I don't think it was Gucci. Oh, man, did you see Daniel Sturridge on... Uh, well, you wouldn't have done. But, like, he was on the Sky Sports and, like, they normally prevent him from wearing, like, branded gear. And he was sat there dressed like fucking Darth Maul, you know, from, like, uh, the Star Wars things. Right. He was, like, this, it was, like, kind of this black leather attire, which looked like it was almost a skirt at the bottom. And then he had this roll neck, which said Gucci. And I'm like, come on, man. You need to be that guy. <laughs> Anyways... But yeah, so that was my uh, trip to Amsterdam. And I landed back in on Sunday lunchtime and then immediately drove for four hours with Adam yesterday to another another food challenge. Well, you didn't drive with me, did you? Well, no, I that, drove. Well, you're probably fortunate for that, yes. that small mercy. But you, yeah, we, we did film something because I wanted to squeeze some in. I'm trying to get, you know, because it's time of year, people be like, you know, I'm missing, I'm missing the midweek videos, which I get. So like I try, I'm trying to squeeze a few more in as much as I can. Um, but obviously because it's, you can't normally I shoot way ahead of time, right? Yeah. So everyone's like, I can't believe you're in Finland. The weather looks nice. I'm like, I was in Finland four months ago. <laughs> but obviously I did that because like, then I leave time. Because I was thinking, because oh, usually there are a couple of restaurants that do some like Christmas themed eating thing. Yeah. You know, you could win, like last year I did one, I can't remember where it was, but it was like a Christmas themed burger. So, you know, it's, it, it, that's why I did it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get some more in. But yeah, I appreciate you helping me out with that one because uh, we filmed it with Jen, right? Yeah. Because, and it's actually almost a, an entire, a precise calendar year she, she was last on the channel. That's mad, that. Because yeah. it was obviously then a year since she's been on the podcast, right? Yeah. It's probably the last guest we've had. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> we all better get some more, though, you know? Can we talk about much about the challenge? Or? Yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah? Yeah, as long as we don't talk about the thing which precedes it. That sounded like really weird. <laughs> uh, for, no, I mean, like, we, yeah, we just don't give away what happens in it. Yeah, it was a fucking. I thought it was a shitty video. It's gonna look nice because you guys oh, filmed mate, it. We, so we drove to like it was Whiz Whiz Beach. We were all pronounced it Whiz Beck. I thought it was Whiz Beck. Yeah, and the, I should say the food was. I enjoyed the 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 food, um, but yeah, it's more like the. I just did. It was hard to make the video. You no, know I didn't understand about the place. He didn't make those donuts. He bought the donuts and put the topping on, which that's, I was like. That's what a lot of those kind of like. Gourmet donut places do those. One not far from where I live that does the same thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's, I thought that was bonkers, mate. I was just like... Normally, I think they would, they would allow some kind of setting time, you know, so like the... If you say you put chocolate oh, on it, it yeah. hardens up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas those are like sloppy like fresh. as shit. But like it, it was better... It made look more good sense. For, look good for the B-roll. you get the B-roll yeah. on making the donut. But you, you're probably not going to cook fresh because then they're going to be warm. It's going to be... You have to wait for them to cool down and then... Maybe I'm making a sweeping assumption, but I just, yeah, I, I was a bit shocked that... <laughs> it's a cool one though, with like a cash prize, which is always yeah. kind of a bit makes it a bit more compelling and I thought it'd be fun for Jen to trick. Cause I thought that Jen would, the type of food it was, I thought, ah, oh, she's going to be at a, she's going to have a go at it. You know, she'd be at a, she had a go at it. Yeah. But it was not a very good. <laughs> I mean, no, it's, spoiler alert. I don't know that's much of a spoiler, is it? But like, no. um, it got very entertaining. Though, the, 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 I think it's gonna be a good video. Plenty, I, I don't think it will, but it'll be plenty of chit chat. I, I, mean, I think uh, with some editing magic applied, it could be, could be good. George is all of, you've got this mate. You've got this. 
Um, and then we had to make our return to uh, civilization on back on the A roads behind the tractors. <laughs> Unless you fucking, I almost didn't get home. We were. Not, I was. I was t- telling Jerry, I'm like, mate, we're sleeping in the car tonight. <laughs> there, there weren't even any like hotels where, where we were driving. <laughs> Tell them the story about what happened. Come on. Right, Matt. <laughs> so, the, the the Tesla's full on juice, right? I know I'm driving fast. So I charge. It's got three. It's a bit of wear and tear now, so it does three. It's three hundred miles, right? I'm like, well, where we're going is like one twenty away. Yeah. Plenty, plenty. I might have to charge it on the way back because it's cold. Battery life's gonna. Uh, not be quite as good, but we'll definitely be all right. So anyways, I drive there without charging it, obviously. And then on the way back, I'm like, cool, we'll stop for a charge. At like, I don't know, Grantham, Newark, something like that. And uh, it like, it sends me to Grantham and I'm like, oh, that's, that's all right. But I'm thinking this is going to be a bit dicey because now for some reason, there's like 40 miles left, less, 40 miles less left in the tank than there was when we arrived at the donut place. So somehow that, that mileage has just disappeared and it's it estimates that I'm going to have 4% battery life left when I get to the charging point. And I'm like, that's all right. I've had worse. I've seen worse odds than that driving a Tesla. Um, but as we went along, um, it got less and less to the point that we, uh, when we called you, or you called me, actually. You, yeah, tell, tell why you called me. So Jen, Jen was messaging me going, Adam's losing his head here. We've got four miles left. Turn, turn the heating off. We've got four miles left in the tank and we're stuck like behind a police incident on this road, which I, like me and I just blew it down, man. We were, I have a piss in myself. So I'm like, I'm going to ring him. So I ring him and he answers him like immediately. He's like, yeah. I went, how's it going, mate? You all right? And he's like, no, I'm not all right. We've got four miles left and we're behind this police incident. We're fucked. So I'm like, oh, I said, that's gutting, mate. I said, well, I've just rang you because I would just assume, like, I assume it's going to use more battery if, I, if you're on a phone call. <laughs> so, like, he bursts out laughing. Jen's pissing herself. <laughs> what are mates for? Then, yeah. I, then I told you to fuck off. And then, I think in the end, we got, I think we had, four, I could feel it. I could, like, it wouldn't accelerate over, it wouldn't go above, like, 42 miles an hour on the boatway, right? Because you had to get on on the boatway for a bit to yeah. then come off at uh, Grantham. And uh, I think when we got to the charging station, it said four, uh, it had four miles left of usage and then we got there all the tesla superchargers which there are 16 were broken so i had to <laughs> put it in one of the normal chargers Lads. which t- usually take way longer i actually to, i should give them a shout out but i've forgotten the name of the charger the <laughs> charger was really good because like it was almost as quick as a supercharger which is cool i think this is some like illuminati shit this i'm never having an electric car for no, that I, reason because yeah, like i agree when nigel farage turns all the fucking electricity off i want to jump in my land rover and get off What's it got to do with Nigel Farage? I don't know. He's not an MP anymore. We thank, thank the good dude. There's no chance of him ever being in any kind of uh, uh, government, but, functional government capacity. Yeah, I'd, I'd, like I'm not doing electric. No, I would, I would advise I mean, you again. Unless you are a city driver predominantly, yeah. I would say, cool, man. But if you're ever going to go like long distances, it's too, the, the estimation is just too What time did you get back get home last night then? Uh, I think it was like seven, <sighs> but like, I, I, that was larger because I dropped Jen home and then I had yeah. to come back on myself. I mean, I had to drop Josh off, but we were back at half past four. So like that, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> see, that's bad in it that. that yeah. I had, I had quite a nice, in fact, no, it wasn't even that nice. I had the gingerbread. I thought, you know, I've just eaten loads of sugary <laughs> stuff. I'm just, why not, why not have some more? So we, when we stopped off at the services at Grantham, I got, uh, a gingerbread latte. I thought, you know, tis the season. Uh, so I got one, but it tasted oddly like um, gravy. I had like a weird kind of gravy taste. T- like, it was almost savoury. I thought they've probably just mixed this wrong. Or <laughs> so I, I left most of it. Cubes it back. <laughs> probably <yeah. laughs> make it extra festive. But um, you know, it was a it was a generally pretty bad day. But you know, we smile through. <laughs> what else are we talking about? Anything else? Um, so you sent into <clears throat> our uh, breaking bread chat, Adam, an angry email you received. We, we've, we've established Do you want to it? read it. An angry email? An angry email. This was the morning of the last day. Of the secret of shoot. Of the secret shoot. I don't know. Just tell me what this is, George, before you actually... From John Snellings. What was it about? About muscle cars. Oh, fuck you. You can talk about that. <laughs> that was <be> something else. <coughs> Do you want me to read it? Yeah. This is just as a quick bit of context. This is about a video I shot in uh, uh, Oklahoma, beginning of last year. And uh, I was just talking to myself in the car. I had the dash cam up. And um, somebody c- rolled by at like 10 in the morning with one of those muscle cars, you know, like, like, is that what you call them? Yeah. Really loud, revving his engine at 10 o'clock, like come off it, man. And I said something like, 
uh, muscle cars, music to no one's ears or something like that. Just to myself, I wasn't even gonna include it in the video, but then I thought it was quite funny, so I did. So yes, George, go ahead. So then John Stelling sent you an email saying, first of all, I love the content, so thanks for that. And if you could keep that thought while reading the rest of this email, if it even makes it to you, <laughs> you royally pissed me off during a challenge you recorded. Royally? Royally? In Norman, Oklahoma. Oh, that was First, a that POS, what's POS stand for? Piece of shit. Piece of shit. You call a muscle car was not even close, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, okay. Automakers, poor attempts tr at trying to relive the past at best. The comment you made regarding no one would want to hear the sound of American muscle cars offended a multitude of people. <laughs> Take it for what you will. Just my opinion. And unfortunately, this is the decade of hurt feelings, I guess. <laughs> Can't believe I'm even writing this since I detest people whining. I'm still going to watch and enjoy all your hard work and entertainment you put out. Just a heads up, you couldn't be more wrong about American muscles. On a brighter note, what are you saying when you say that little catchphrase before a challenge? <laughs> I've tried to figure it out. Uh, that is that is if I didn't duffle your feathers. Everyone is entitled to an opinion. Duffle? But you kind of spoke for a lot of people. Just saying. Peace. John, John, you know the one you wrote the line that said, um, I normally I hate whining, so I don't know why I'm writing this. That's the point where if you're a fully functional adult, <laughs> Delete. You, you just kind of take a deep breath. You think maybe I won't send this because after all, he's just expressing an opinion, tongue in cheek, making himself laugh because oftentimes I spend a lot of time by myself just in general, but also on the road in America and you do little stupid things that, or I do things like that to make yourself laugh. And sometimes I think, oh, well, I've got this. I'll put it in the video because it makes me laugh. It might not make other people laugh and it might wind some people up. And I quite like winding people up sometimes, but you know, try not to take it too seriously. They are just cars after all. Um, <laughs> and he says, they don't Dennis. have feelings. And he says, he goes, Les Dennis. Yeah. That's what he says. Yeah, yeah, totally. They probably don't listen to the podcast. Does it still say on Wikipedia? We've just his email. They probably don't listen to the podcast. Almost certainly. Does it still say on Wikipedia? Maybe I'll check that. I don't out. know. I wonder if Wikipedia's been butchered recently. <laughs> Might have been. For the new listeners, we uh, we had a, probably about a year ago on it, we had a, a laugh that just said, have at it on his... <laughs> for, for about six months, it said he was five foot two. <laughs> <laughs> Got mute. His catchphrase was, Les Dennis. <laughs> we've, we've, oh, that's another thing we need to talk about. Real quick on the shoot, we established I am not, in fact, 5'10". I am 5'11", if you recall, corroborated by the the, the, the thing on the wall. Yeah, do you want me to send you the video? Uh, there's a, I've, I've, I filmed him on a... We, we were in a property with like a height chart on it. Can't, you know, can't have been accurate, surely. I know, I thought that. Well, I, I said well, you were six... Two, you no. said you were just less than six two, didn't you? It's, I said you were six two with your hair, or six three. No, th I think six three with your hair. Right. Well, yeah, you so it must be you? accurate. Yeah, I'm six two, so he's actually he's quite tall. You don't. It's because I think I don't often <laughs> see him with other people, and then when I saw him with loads of people, I'm like, oh, yeah, he's quite tall, but he's got small features. Yeah, do you know what I mean? He looks <laughs> he like, like he should yeah, be I've got smaller. little hands and feet. I've got small hands, yeah. But like, and my feet, my feet, are, I think they're still growing. I talked about, I've got some kind of pituitary gland pro problem. My feet, are, they've gone from like size eight to like nine and a half in a year. <laughs> Somebody tell me at home if that's like a sign of a severe like medical condition. That's bad, I've bad. got like a, buy a bunch of new vans. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, so I thought, I was quite happy. I thought, oh, maybe I'll come in at five, nine or maybe even five, eight, God forbid. And they'll laugh at me, but five, 11, yeah. got an extra inch. It's almost six inches. Maybe you're still growing. It could be. Yeah. Pubic is still growing. I mean, I, do call, I look quite young for my age, don't I? I always compare myself you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, I want to say, can I quote that, Josh? <laughs> Fuck me, bleep that out. What if they're not going to listen? Because you were like, I I right, fucking... no, there were lots of very, I mean, uh, Josh Davies, handsome chap, I'd have slept with him in a second. He was a handsome guy, I wouldn't um, have slept with him in a second. I wouldn't, you could have got me in bed easy, man. And I'm, I'm pretty straight, I think. Um, so I'm not saying, they, but, but I mean, I think because of the hard work they put in, they looked quite old. Yeah. You know, but, but then I looked young, so I kind of met in the middle. Like Josh Blue, who did the directing, He's 10 years younger than me. He looks older than me. Yeah, he's fucked you, Josh. He needs yeah. some meat and, and some all, vitamins. I'm, I'm sure they will all take it in, uh, in good humor. Because <laughs> certainly I, I'm, I'm known to, to to talk about the way people look, you know. I got the invoices from, I, got, I can't oh, talk too much. Talk <laughs> I don't want to see him. You, makeup artist Freya. Um, yeah, that co the whole, that thing cost more than I expected. But it's all right. Well, I'll <laughs> sign it on to invoice. I'll talk to you about that afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you talking about? So, Josh, the time has come. For what? For what? For the surf drumming. Yeah, that's what I said when I saw him outside coming in today. <laughs> well, guess, guess what first thing he said to me was. <laughs> guess. Guess. I, I, I've, I've got up, I accepted my fate. And I know the first line of the video, I'm going to say, 
hey, I'm Joshy Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Joshy Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> they welcome to the search drumming challenge. <laughs> Joshy Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I've, I've accepted it right this morning I'm ready I'm primed he steps out of the car this morning he's like did you bring a tin opener I went did that fuck no he's, he's forgot the tin opener fucking kidding me <laughs> oh man I was gonna That's... bring one as well <laughs> I'm kind of sad that you told me that now because that would be probably a good thing because I would have been rolling when you said it and you wouldn't have had to either uh, wait, but it's cool because like, what I'm thinking is maybe we could get some more shit make it look Really, uh, properly Christmassy. That could be a Christmas present in the next one because we're going to do another one this week, I think. Yeah, we are. But the, we, we've got to do the stir strumming outside. Yeah, or in a yeah. room that you don't. I say, I say we should do it in. Uh, can I say that your sister uh, occupies these premises sometimes? You can do, yeah. Yeah. But, so she has a room in. Uh, what's well, quite a large office. You only see this room, but there are many rooms. Yeah. And uh, I thought it might be fun to open the fishy stir strumming in her beauty studio. <laughs> I think we can't do it no. inside. Like, no. Mike's, Tori Mike piped up in the chat the other day. Like, it's like a ghost that just appears. <laughs> and he's, oh, turns out he's fucking kink on a night after his, like, when he's having a wank, he's to watch people eat his surf drumming. You added the wank part. I've got to defend Mike here. He didn't say he was, like, touching himself to stinky fish videos. Um, but yeah, he did say that he likes watching them. And if, he said you've got to open it underwater. No, no. Because, like, if that's cheating, because if you, you, you should, if you're enjoying it as a delicacy open it underwater. Right. But that means that it doesn't smell. But part of the challenge really is that you, I think the official rule should be that you get this full, like, you know, you're getting the sense of the sea. Yeah, man. I, look, at, I, I mean, mean, I mean how the fuck are we going to do it underwater anyway? Yeah. Well, you just, we don't get, wanna, we're not going to do that. You get a water bath and open it. <laughs> but anyway, um, we are going to have to do it outside though. Or in a room you don't give a shit. It's going to have to be outside. I think we'll get evicted. <laughs> we do, we do it in the corridor. Yeah. And they don't charge much rent, do they? So we need no, to kind of keep it all bargain. Sweet. It's a bargain here. Yeah. Obviously uh, we haven't got any heating, but. So it needs to be a clear, well, I, I, it needs to be a clear day There's like an alleyway down there. And I thought like, we'll have to do it in the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge alleyway. Dog shit alley. <laughs> I ate Surstrom, I ate stinky fish in an alleyway in Morley. <laughs> With beard meats food. Guaranteed viral video right there. <laughs> it's like when Devo used what, to do his what videos. What has the podcast come to? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you got a reprieve for this week. Yeah, look, I, I were down for it. But I mean, we've got it. Is, it. is it protected somewhere, George? It's in the You've uh, got eyes on it. kitchen area. Sweet, okay. Yeah. I'm, re- I'm ready for it. Yeah. Uh, how long are we going for? 47 minutes. This has been a fucking cracking podcast. You reckon? Me, yeah. We started pretty slow, but we got there in the end. I think around the pube conversation. <laughs> Start to wake up. Or well, should we finish it in style? Yeah. Why not? With a fessel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only got one this week, though. Oh, we didn't talk about that guy in the... the that sent in the chat about the, you know, the... The dude with the food challenge that apparently it's you like said a couple of, of things, more things in the chat, didn't you? Like there were a couple of Twitter, thing, Twitter yeah, we can, things. We can save them for next time. But I just thought one was relevant because um, I imagine most people come here because they watch my videos. And uh, this was a story about a food challenge where the, the people were saying that the, the, the man who had attempted the food challenge was hard done by because uh, I think you won like 50 quid cash or something, maybe, for finishing this meal. And uh, he left some, oh, we're talking about it now, aren't we? Yeah. He left some salad. And he said, fuck, it's fucking bullshit, mate. He's down <laughs> south somewhere. It's fucking bullshit. Why am I eating this fucking salad? Is it a video? Uh, mate, no, I don't think so. I think oh, he just right. did it for a laugh. Um, but he did finish, so congratulations to it. Well, he f- almost finished. He finished all the tough parts, but then he said he wouldn't eat the salad because he doesn't like salad. And I'm like, come on, man, you got to just suck it up there. It was only like a little handful. Yeah, you could yeah. probably done it in one mouthful. Yeah. But the, the, yeah, you've been chugging mayo and shit before. Do you eat oh, mushrooms yeah. when you get them? Yeah, yeah. I don't like mushrooms. You, you, the fucking challenge is the challenge, man. You don't get to just say like, <laughs> I hate it as well when some restaurants will say, oh, you can swap this. Like I've seen breakfast challenge. Like, oh, if you don't like mushrooms or you don't like tomatoes, you can swap it for like extra this. Like I don't like mushrooms, but like, the, you can't be because ch- then it's not fair, right, yeah. man? Like you could just change every item for something else that would make it. But anyway, he, I think the restaurant got some some heat because it was like all over the news. I mean, there are probably better things to write about, but a lot of people like, news day. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but they write about shit like that, you know, because loads of people click it, be like, oh my god. But um, yeah, I think they got like quite a lot of grief because like, oh, you should give them the victory, um, and then other people say, no, well, no, you know, fair's fair. You should have finished the salad, salads yeah, yeah. included, and uh, I'm, I think I'm firmly in the latter camp because I mean, you can't if you almost finish, you didn't finish, you know. Um, I agree. Have, have, have you, uh, I said about that the better. You just reminded me though. Have, have you uh, have you heard the Rip My Takeaway Christmas song? <sighs> don't mate. Don't. No, no, no. Come on. My ears can't take you can't it. put it on. We'll get copyrighted. I don't think we will. We I definitely we will. will. Oh well, maybe Todd Lattie will sweep in and uh, give us a strike. It's called Just Do a Snippet. Santa's up north. 
Just do a snippet. Have, should we buy it? We're going to buy it and then we're going to play it. Yeah, you're going to have to buy it. <laughs> you're going to have to buy it. <laughs> you're, you're not buying it? Mm. You didn't get us to do it's a video. For, it's for, I'll do it. It's for charity, isn't it? It's for yeah. Le- uh, Leeds... The charity or I don't let's, know. Let's not be cynics here, man. Like, did you get us to do the video this year? <laughs> nah, it's a nude production company. It just fucking goes, it just goes to everyone in Leeds for a free one. <laughs> I think it's quite catchy. <laughs> White balance is a bit off. If I was. <laughs> if I was <laughs> I can't always tell what he's saying in the little ad libs. I, I, I like it apart from the way, the spoken bits. Look, it's, it's rammed at the uh, White Rose there. He's got like a stage. Oh, he's going for it there. That's top of his range. Yeah, so congrats, Danny, on uh, on getting that video out. You've you've set a bar there. 90,000 views in four days. Not sure if we can top that, mate. Have you, have you got any coming this year, do you think? Don't know if I've got it in me, mate. I don't have the power, Captain! I can't do it! Uh, maybe. We'll see. But support, support Danny. Let's, let's yeah, yeah. get the charity some more money. What's, is it for the, the Trussell Trust again? It's not Trussell Trust. No, I thought it was it the same It will lead something charity. But so. the first year it was Trussell Trust, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah. Uh, Sorry that I keep sniffling, by the way. I mean, it's probably late for an apology it now. It's for Leeds Hospitals Charity. Nice. So... Can get behind that. Know yeah. a lot of people that work for the NHS in Leeds. Yeah. Lots of my friends here. Yeah. I often ask them to do some like digging around the, you know, like uh, if my granny's, <laughs> I don't know, she needs a labia plastic. <laughs> um, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> what? I I said Google that. labia plastic. I think no, I know what it is, but I need to double check. Um, if she needs like a knee replacement, she's Can waiting. You Google it. No, no, do Google labia plastic. <laughs> she, if she's waiting for like 60 weeks for a knee replacement, <laughs> then I, I'm like, yo, can, can we kind of, can we bump this up, mate? I'm like, I won't say what it is because I'll get in trouble, but like, <laughs> they've done me a few favours before. Come on, George. Right? <laughs> Isn't it just like some kind of cosmetic work done to the... Uh... A surgery to reduce the size of the labia. <laughs> the flaps of skin either side. The funny thing is, if my gran heard that now, <laughs> she would laugh. So I might, get, I might get my sister to clip this part of the podcast <laughs> and play it so and she'll laugh. So. Well, as soon as she figures out what it is, because she won't know if I, you know, she won't know what labia plastic is. <laughs> Should we, anyway. should, should we do festivals now? Yeah, that's a good Have we got uh, a Patreon section? Um, not really this week, no. You're a fucking shite producer. You've had like two <laughs> weeks. <laughs> we haven't been here. We, can, Josh, Josh, we, we can go keep, through. <laughs> we need to keep Somebody them Somebody said to me, Jim, over there, they're like, George is the MVP of that podcast. Yeah, like, <laughs> what? Yeah, you're right. Funny <laughs> thing is that people think, uh, after that taco video, people think that George is Josh Blue. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, go on, Nick. Let's, let's wrap it up. Come on. I needed batteries for my new rabbit. The shop... <laughs> For my new rabbit. I'm assuming it's not the... The, the shop sold batteries can. over the counter. Stood in the queue nervously and rehearsed in my head what to say, as didn't want any suspicion. Got to the till and said, can I have a pack of four double A's for my vibrator, please? I hate it myself. <laughs> oh, man, you bullshit. Who would, why would you say that? Why don't you say, give me a pack of four double A's? Why would you say it for my vibrator? Because she's overthinking it. Oversharing? <laughs> nah, I'm not buying that. You wouldn't do that, I don't think you I mean, I, you you fed, like, I do that sometimes when I say things I shouldn't say. You've just reminded me that I've got a story from Amsterdam which we talk about on, on the Patreon. Like, yeah, I've just, yeah. You've just given me the section. Teasing people. You've just gave me the section. All right. Well, we'll take it <laughs> over there then. All right. Thank you everybody for watching, for listening. Uh, we will be back with another podcast next week. Um, you can join us on the other side, on the dark side, uh, if you want to win a free t-shirt as well. Why is Patreon the dark side? I don't know. I suppose it is. It's our yeah, true authentic selves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it will get dark when I tell you about these tales from the red light district. Don't come over then. Peace. (laughs)